I will be showing the effects of point mutations on an amino acid sequence. The top strand is non-coding and the bottom strand is the coding strand. That is the strand that will be used to make mRNA. This is the coding strand and the mRNA that will be made after transcription. Orange rectangles are uracil, red is tyrosine, yellow is adenine, green is guanine, and blue is cytosine. The reading frame can be found by searching for the start codon, AUG. Once this is found, continue down the sequence to read what amino acids will be made after translation. Stop reading when one of the stop codons, such as UAA, appears. The amino acid sequence here is methionine, valine, serine, lysine. If this C in the coding strand undergoes a point mutation and becomes a T, then this nucleic acid will be an A and will no longer be translated to valine, but will instead make isoleucine. This point mutation is a transition. A transition is when a purine is changed to another purine. Another type of change is called a transversion. A transversion is when a purine is changed to a pyrimidine, or vice versa. The type of mutation shown, where a point mutation changes the resulting amino acid, is called missense. Let's revert back to the original strand and say that this T in the coding strand is mutated to an A. Then this nucleic acid will be a U and will no longer be translated to lysine, but will instead become a stop codon. This point mutation is a transversion and is a nonsense mutation. It is nonsense because it changes an amino acid into a stop codon. Okay, back to the original. If this T in the coding strand is changed to a G, then this nucleic acid will be a C, and this codon will no longer stop translation and will instead be translated to tyrosine. Also, translation will continue down the mRNA. This mutation is a transition and a read-through mutation. It is a read-through because it changes a stop codon into an amino acid. Back to the version with no mutations. And let's say that this G is mutated to a T. Then this nucleic acid will become an A and will still be translated to valine. This is a transition and a silent mutation. It is silent because even though the nucleic acid changes, the resulting amino acid is still the same.